Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a VK3001P. It's a tier 6 German medium tank. It's located on the westbourne of Airfield under the command of Sly Meerkat. Now, yes, we're following on with our replays. This one's from just March this year, actually, so it's a fairly recent one. He's in the 3001P, which is the same tank that was actually derived from the... 30 ton tank project which was actually initiated in 1940. As you may know that the VK301H is the Henschel version, this is the Porsche version. And basically it's got the same sort of drive system, the gasoline driving, uh, gasoline engines driving electrical generators that actually drive this thing along and in fact actually Ferdinand Porsche wanted this to become his version of the Tiger tank. But of course the 30 ton project was actually cancelled and you can see that Sly's gonna stay there for a second because he was spotted so they know he's here and he just needs to go unsighted any targets he can hit well in fact actually Porsche lost the lost the contract on the the Tiger but of course he did make uh, I think it was over 90 it was a hundred hulls that were going to be made into his version of the Tiger but of course then they were used for Ferdinand's instead. Oh spotted somebody it's a Tiger 2 he's using the bush mechanic firing rounds in now if I remember correctly the gun on this thing can be the 88 millimeter but it's uh, one of the varieties of 88 millimeter let's have a look which one he's got yes it is the 88 millimeter he gets 220 alpha, penetration of 145 millimeters of armor with standard AP, and with APCR it goes up to 194, which is what he was using on the Tiger 2. And he needs to pull back a bit in order to shoot at the Tiger, otherwise he's going to be seen. Now the problem with actually pulling back on this particular rock is that if your rear sticks out the end, somebody who's a lot closer might be able to spot you. And there is a VK-3001P on the enemy team on Temple Mount. We didn't get through the armour of the Tiger because he's well angled. And he needs to be careful that somebody over the other side doesn't shoot at him. There's an A44 on Temple Mount as well. And you can see them now. There's the 3001. He'll easily get through his armour. So it's much lighter than the Tiger 2 and it's not angled. Okay, the 301P was taken out by our P44, our Pantera, and there's an... Oh, it's a Liberté! Have difficulty penetrating the front of that one. Turret. He tries to go from between the tracks. Uh, I think the armor's just too strong. You need to get the side of the turret if you can. No, you're going to have difficulty with that. Either that will hit the side of the body. Yep, got it that time. Try again. No angle. Oh, he did get it through. But he's really testing it because the angle at the moment is very, very high. He's, that driver knows the, how to angle the 49L, the Liberté. But he's now one. Is he a two shot? He's a two shot now. Not going to pin that. He's got a green dot, which should say you could penetrate it, but I'm afraid it is very, very tough, the front of that thing. And he's now moving. He's coming this way. Okay, got no shots on the A44. Looking for that Liberté again. He's gone behind the rock, so they've got no shot at the moment. He will appear very shortly. He's loaded the APCR again. There's a King Tiger capture coming around there as well. Hmm. Yeah, the armor on that one is much less than the Tiger 2, so we should be able to... Uh, it's not quite the same. They say, oh, it's the same tank. It's not really. <laughs> okay, Skoda easily goes through the armor on that. And the Liberté is coming this way. I'm trying to get the Skoda. There he is. Nice. High roll. And the King Tiger captures in sight now, so he can use the bush mechanic on him. Yep, and he got a fire, and he's dead. 
So he's got an arsonist badge. Now that Liberté did get taken out of the game by KV2R. Oh, that was the big bang that we heard only a few seconds ago. That was the Liberté going pop. Okay. There are some targets further off to the south. There's the KB3. Yep, there's the Skoda. We'd like to get him because... Uh, oh, ricocheted off his hull. Not so good. If he gets behind, then it, we're going to have to reposition. KB3. Here we go. Should be able to get through the side of that. No problem. Yep. 229 high roll. And he tracked him. At least I think he did. Oh, he's firing this direction. He couldn't see us. He's working out or trying to work out where we are from where the damage line lines up. But he didn't get it right. Hit the rock instead. And again, he's got it wrong. Looks like our 45 TP or our KV-2 arm took a shot at him. Now, if we can keep him tracked, KV-2 arm will be able to finish him off. Nice. That's tracked him again. At least I think it did. And that one went through. Little damage, though. We're firing HE now. Oh, we just got killed by the Pantera. And that's it. That's the end of the game. We've saved tunnel vision on that uh, KB3. We missed out the fact that all the others had died. <laughs> Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it's an ace tanker for Sly Meerkat and the VK301P. I think the end of that battle was a, a surprise for him as well because he was focused on that KB3 and so was I. Bruiser medal for um, uh, for him as well for getting at least five critical hits. He got eight. He got an arsonist because he set light to an enemy tank, watched it burn. That was the King Tiger. And he also got a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. So nice that he's aced it. Let's have a look at the uh, team score. Well, it's quite interesting. He didn't get the highest damage. That went to the P44 Pantera with 3,076 hit points. But he wasn't far behind with 2,594. And neither was the KB2R with 2,552. So, yes, they were both doing a lot of damage together. When it came to kills, it was the Pantera again. He got four kills, three kills for the Habitia, and two kills for the Lerva, Super Hellcat, and KB2R. Sly only got one kill. That was the uh, King Tiger Cat. And when it came to base XP, it was Sly who got the most. 1,249. I think he did that because he did some uh, tracking. And that enabled other teammates to take advantage of the tanks that he tracked. 1,054 for the Pantera. 1,009 for the KB-2R. I should also say that because he's tier uh, 6 in this game and the other tanks were tier 8 he was earning much more xp than them simply because he was a lower tier because obviously you earn 10 percent more for every tier difference between you and the targets he fired 24 rounds got 23 direct hits and 11 penetrations one splash damage of 2594 hit points of which 2090 were at more than 300 meters so most of his shots were a long range Two enemy vehicles spotted, six enemy vehicles damaged and one killed, and 825 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium count, he earned 37,105 credits, got 50,000 for the uh, personal missions payout, and after ammunition respawn, took away 53,198, and that's even after he fired a huge amount of APCR during that battle. 1,249 XP times 2 for the first victory. Took away 3,748 altogether. So nice for him to get the ace. Congratulations on that. Um, the 3001P is quite a... It's, it's okay, actually. It's not a bad medium. It's not up. It's not as great as the Panther, you might say, with a 75mm gun. But the 88mm on this is actually... Um, yeah, it's quite handy. It's, uh, it's a bit slower than the, the Panther prototype, the VK. Uh, 302 but um, it's it does have that that punch from the 88 millimeter gun which actually can make a big difference 
If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. We've got, I think there is still two more Slimy Cat replays to go. I thought there was only two originally um, a while back, but note there's another two we found. So uh, we'll be going into those very shortly. So stay tuned to our channel and thank you for watching.